So in making these uh, little units for the shelves, for the team transport, I've got a little materials list here. And that materials list consists of all the pieces you need to make these. Now, of course, this is for five different shelves. So if you're just going to make one of these, you can divide this out by five, which means you only need one piece for the backboard and two pieces for the top, two pieces for the side. But since I'm making five different boards, uh, I've got all the materials cut up and ready to go. So you can see they're all stacked up here. So you've got the the base, the backboards, you've got the side shelves and the top shelves or the sides and the tops of the shelf. So if you look at this one, so when we talk about vertical, horizontal, and then the interior shelves are made of black foam boards. So I've got all those ones cut up as well. And this is the materials I use. So basically I've got obviously some knives, pencil, tape measure, I use glue gun. Now, this can be a little messy for some people, but I'm not bad at keeping this pretty clean looking. So you can see from this shelf, I used glue gun for this entire thing. And, you know, very, very little seepage. The key is not to use too much glue gun. And of course, a good quality glue. So I know a lot of times you just go to the dollar store and pick up that glue. But because this is going to be holding some weight, you want to make sure it's got a good bond. So you want to use a good quality glue stick. And of course, a metal um, straight edge, if you will, a metal ruler for cutting nice straight lines. So essentially what you're going to have for one shelf is one backboard, two side pieces, two bottom and top one center shelf that will go in the center and then four pieces like this that will go in the middle as your shelves what i haven't cut yet are the spacer pieces that will go i'll demonstrate that here that will go on the ends of the cabinet so those spacer pieces and i've got a blank one a white one cut just for spacing out when i'm putting it together but the spacer piece will be what goes in between to hold or support the ends of the shelves on the uh, outside of the display case. So what we've done is we've cut all the white at two and a half inches deep and the black is only two inches deep so that it has a slight recess or it's inset into the display. And what you'll end up with when it's all done is a smaller version of this that will hold 10 team transport vehicles. And so the one that we built previously, we'll have to find a new home for it. I'm not sure it'll ever be used again, but uh, just to kind of give you an idea what the construction will be, I uh, wanted to show you this one that we'd already built. So when the shelves are put together, they will be cut into this configuration where there are slots, and the slotted pieces will fit together like so to support the shelf. So you'll have basically a shelf that is supported in this kind of T formation. So they just slide together. The order of assembly would be to do the bottom first and then we'll do the two sides and then we'll do a top piece and then we'll assemble the shelf and then insert that into the middle.
Okay, so for this part, we're gonna mark off our shelves and make the notches in them. So this piece is the center part that goes down the middle, right? So what we wanna do is take that spacer piece that we made. So this is a two and three quarter inch by two inch, or yeah, so it's made to fit the black, right? So this would be basically what the black one would end up being that's running down the sides. So essentially what we want to do is mark off the increments of our shelves. So we'll make a pencil line at each interval. Of course, keeping into... So where I made that pencil line, I don't know if you can see that, but that basically would be where the shelf would be slotted into. So that's the top part of our cut. So the next cut has to be made the thickness of the foam board down from that line. So then we'll make our next line right there, right? And then our next line beyond that right there. And then we'll do the same thing as we go down. So we'll mark with the thickness of the foam board where the next piece goes. And that's essentially how we're going to cut our slots. So again, we'll mark that and then we'll mark this and then we'll do the same thing for the third shelf. And then our bottom piece fits right in. So it lines up on the bottom and then we'll have our final line. So those pencil marks that we marked out will basically be cut out something like what you see here. And then these pieces then will be able to be slotted into one another just like this. So they fit together. And that basically then supports your shelf so that you don't have to worry about gluing all this together because when you glue this it can get a little messy because then you're trying to fit them into tight spaces with glue all over them and of course the glue is just going to become problematic so we'll cut all these out and then we'll fit this all together okay so here we see we've got the center bar or the center shelf support notched out with four slots to hold the four shelves and then we'll go ahead and make the single notch in the center of each one of the shelves to complete this center part. So we had the benefit of using a spacer to help us space out the notches on the center pole but on the shelf itself you need to find exact center. So these shelves are 13 and three quarters of an inch in length. So the center point of 13 and three quarters will be six and seven eighths. So that would be exact center. And then on that, you also then want to take into consideration the thickness of this, which is 330 seconds. And so when you're setting your actual center line, you want to make sure that your center line is taking into consideration that this, you've got to find the center line of the thickness of the foam board as well. So not to make your notch offset, but actually in the center. So here's a handy tip when you're ch uh, plotting out your line. So you can see I've made the pencil mark at the center, which was six and seven eighths inches. And then I've taken the center part and drawn using my spacer to make sure it was square to mark that out. And then just to make sure that I get every single one of them the same, I've taken my blade and I've notched them straight down so that I've got reference on each one of the boards to make sure that they're all exactly cut in the same place. Okay, so now we just have to slide these pieces together now that they've been notched out. So 
and just gently push them in. Just be careful not to damage them. And then that will fit right into the center of our display. And then we'll just need to cut the filler pieces to actually fit into the ends. And those will just be all glued into place. And that's just to hold the center piece. Of course, they'll be black and they won't say spacer with a measurement on it, but they'll just all go into each end and be glued into place. Okay, so home stretch. We are in the home stretch. So these are the pieces that will go along the sides. So these are two inches wide by two and three quarter inches tall. And those will end up being slotted into the end of the display like so. And as you put them in, they will just automatically level out your, your shelves so that they are sitting firmly in the right position all the way down. And that's as simple and as easy as this. Now you can choose to glue, they'll fit tight, so you can choose to glue them in or you can leave them loose. Uh, that is totally up to you. I will end up gluing mine into place so that they can't uh, move. But basically that is what you end up with. Um, so that will definitely fit your team transport vehicles. So let's get this. So this is basically the first one. I've got five more to make. So I think that took the better part of an hour to basically cut and put together this one box. So I've got four more to do so that we can fill these cases. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one in the display and then I'll go ahead and finish up. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Is it going to fit? Here we go, let's see. Get that in between. Let's pull this door a bit. Okay, there we go. So there it is. So that is made to fit nice and snug in between those poles that are in the display cabinet. And so as you can see, let me grab the car. So these are the team transport that we had in the last one. Ah, beautiful fit. It's a beautiful fit. Okay, so there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make the other four. We'll get this display all finished up. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that there's something here that you can find useful in making some displays for yourself. Um, if you have any comments or any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I encourage you to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And thank you very much for watching the entirety of this video. I appreciate it. And you guys be safe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.